So if you're here, you're awesome. And if you're alive, that's even better, right? So the step is be here and be alive, not just be yeah. here and live, but be alive. Actually allow your experiences to teach you, pay attention to the world. Don't live on autopilot. One of my very first practices I teach my students is the great pause, which is simply this. So this is a glass of water, right? So I just simply say out loud, I am committing to drink this water. And I follow through. What I've just done is I've taken my divinity and put it into my body and overlaid it in such a way that the entities that take over my body and put me on autopilot, AKA things I've given responsibility to, to take care of me is no longer relevant. So I claim power back from that experience until eventually every action is conscious. So I choose to grab this water glass. It's not that my body needs water and therefore I pick up the water glass. These are some of the really cool techniques that you need to learn in order to survive in the infinite game is to be conscious, be aware of everything. The I am committing technique is a great way to start that process, but there are millions of other ways. Yes. Draw a painting. Good when you're point. drawing a painting, feel each brush stroke, feel the energy run through you that creates the brush stroke. Move your body, pay attention to every single muscle as best you can as you're moving your body. There are lots of ways to become conscious. Yoga is a great way. Tai Chi is a great way. There's a lot of them. But the best way is to find your own way. Because yeah. if you can find what works for you and actually hone it into you working on you through your own yeah. source, you've begun the infinite game.